Welcome back everyone. In the coming few videos, I will discuss how to fetch data from API in Flutter block with the help of repository provider and repository pattern. In this particular video, I will discuss how to create the repository. Now let me discuss about the API which we will use to fetch the data. As you can see that this is the API and this API is giving us this particular response. Now based on this response, we need to create the model. And to create the model here, I have used the site app.quicktype.io and here I have pasted the JSON response. After that, I have given the model name as user model. Based on this JSON response and this name, it has created the user model class. Now let me switch to VS code. Here I have created this particular project that is a repository provider. And in the pubspec.yml file, I have taken flutter block and DIO as dependency. Now inside the lib folder here, I will create a new folder named as data. Inside the data folder here, I will create a subfolder named as model. Then inside the data folder, I will create another folder named as provider. And let me create one more folder named as a repository. Now inside the model folder here, I will create a file named as user model dot dart sorry it will be dart and after that here this class which has been created i will simply copy this and after that i will paste it here so our user model class has been created now inside the provider here i will create a file named as user provider here i will write the code to fetch the data from the API. So let me create a class here, class user provider. And here to fetch the data, I will use the instance of DIO. So let me create the instance of DIO, final DIO. And to the constructor of this DIO, it will take base options. And in the base options here, I need to pass the base URL. Now we know the base URL. So let me copy this base URL. And let me paste it here. So our instance of DIO has been created. After that here, I will create a method that is get users, which will fetch the data from that particular API. To do that here, I need to create a method get users. Obviously, I will declare this method as async and the return type of this get users method will be future of user model. Now here I need to use try catch. And in the catch, I will return future error then e dot to a string now inside the try here i will declare a variable final response equals to now i need to use a wait and then i will use the dio instance and then i will call the get method and in this get method here i need to specify the path and as you can see here the path is users page one. So let me copy this and let me paste it here. After that, I need to return user model from JSON. Now from where I'm getting this method, this method I'm getting from the user model class. As you can see here, this user model from JSON has been created. So I will use that method and here I need to pass response dot to a string. So our user provider class has been created. Now inside the repository, I will create a file named as user repository. Here I will create an abstract class I user repository. And inside this class here, I will create a method having the return type as future of user model and the method name will be get users sorry it will be get users now 
the implementation of this method i will provide inside a class named as user repository so here i will create user repository and what it will do it will implement i user repository and once it implements i user repository then it is mandatory to override this particular method so let me click here create one missing override now here i need to provide the implementation of this particular method that is get users and to do that first of all here i will create the instance of user provider and to the constructor of this user repository here i will pass this dot user provider and here i will do one more thing i will declare this as final now inside this particular method what i need to do is that here i will simply write return user provider dot get users because the implementation of this method is already created inside the user provider now the advantage of using this user repository is that later on now here i am fetching the data from the remote api later on suppose the requirement is that i will fetch the data from the local repository then i need to change only this particular code okay and after changing this particular code i will write the logic to fetch the data from the local data source from the local db but the rest of the application will not be affected because these methods will remain same and we need to call these methods only okay so whether your data source is same or changing the uh, the rest of the application will not be affected that is the advantage of you uh, repository pattern that i have already discussed in the previous video okay so this is how we have created the model the provider and the repository in the next video i will discuss how to create the state event and block that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching